So, I'm not sure how much of the room you can pick up from these headsets. I would imagine a decent amount. So, hopefully you can all hear Vivif on stream with, you know, that ahead of the stream video. Yeah. Anyways, getting into this, oh, no! looks like Vivif yes. is wow, punching no! things and getting footstools. Like... Oh my god, just died right out of the gate, not even 10 seconds in. Green team is a stock that down. A kill? That was a footstool By kill. Zeno? Yes! What? Wow, Xeno uh, has stayed multiple times. Kill over footstool is one of the worst things you could ever do in this game. Yeah? That is pretty much that, that is how you disrespect Vivid. Yeah, dude. And that is exactly what he would say. Uh, I like, uh, Trimper to be going for the custom Whirlwind up B, whatever. <laughs> Let's Just because he, he can juke it, it's fun. Oh, yeah. It, I do feel like it's not as strong here as normally, just yeah. because Little Max edge guarding because hey, let me down smash and cover literally everything, and then Rosalina's down air has no hitbox. Yeah. Yeah. She's got the ding ding. The ding ding will definitely kill this time. It looks like that he's going to try to use that ding ding on like try to get an early stock, but can't hang it. No more ding ding. Vivid. The worst player that he is, already on his last stock, but... Well, Ninetales. Ninetales! Ninetales is carrying this team right now. Yeah. Uh... Zeno being Zeno on his stock. Yeah. And, uh... Looks like they're just trying to get rid of him. Which is a good strategy. So, and with that, Ninetales loses his first stock. So, the entire green team lost three stocks before Zeno lost one. That's just Zeno. Alright, so Zeno came in there, uh, made sure that his team controlled the lane so that Triforce of Ginger could get back and, wow, okay, up smash will kill. So now stocks are even, but Vivid has, as we call it here, the ding ding. Yeah, ding ding. Ding ding's ready. Ding ding gone. Ding ding gone. So it looks like now they're back in the lead. Very surprising. I lived on Cap on What if they're just gonna grab on that? Pretty much over at the top. Like a falcon back throw, like right there. Wow, that's just kind of Um, if Triforce had seen it coming oh, yeah, and could have converted it, it. could have hit him literally anyway. Yep. Well, except for like. Oh, yeah, except for what? Except for what? Except for like an up here. I don't know, it's like it probably would have killed. Just outright. Well, it gets a little crap to boost, but even though she's floaty, it's quite good. She doesn't have Link Link's doing, no one's really capitalizing. Link's doing pretty well about um just mastering Vivek with different projectiles, and he's getting hit by him. Oh, got him with the, the Falcon, Falcon kick! kick? The <laughs> Alright! So, please. <laughs> please hear us. Come on, Undying Heroes. This is your chance. And they took it! <laughs> took me one! Alright! Undying Heroes, on the way. <laughs> See, nine tails. This is what happens when you bail on your real double partner. Stand by. Good max. Omega boxing ring. Omega boxing ring. Very definitely good max. Yep. Good stage for pocket. Good stage for Link. Don't know if I was Link. I think it's an okay stage for Link, but I feel like he really does like the platforms and stuff for just because his disjointed pokes and sharking stuff like that. But definitely, only being able to approach him from one angle helps a lot with his projectiles. Wow, Rosalina, no! <laughs> well, it's kind of even, I guess. After what happened last game? Yeah. Yeah. Vivid's getting a lot off of just down tilt into whatever the hit is. Um, I've seen people escape that with... Ooh, that was a nice, uh, head, uh, cover dodging grab on, uh, Vivid's Yeah. But I've seen a number of people, um, just if you jump as soon as... Wow, okay, still has the ding-ding. <laughs> oh, misses the ding-ding. Wow, but, but the wind box. Wind box that would kill back in. <laughs> it would've, too. I have a hard time killing this Link. Yeah, Link is He's heavy. extremely heavy. Um, I do believe that Link and Captain Falcon actually are the exact same weight, and apparently have been in every game since 64. So, both people on their team... Oh, 
Beautiful. So Xeno stomps his teammate and then gets up smashed. However, uh, Triforce does not die. And then he dies. Yeah. So he bounced off of the shooting star bit. Wow, Ninetales stole his boomerang. Now he'll never get to use it ever again. <laughs> That's that, how it is that why it, it wasn't in Zelda 2? Yeah, here we go. He didn't have a boomerang or a bow in that game. Really? Uh, I think it was meant for Mac, but it's still really good. Triforce of Ginger is getting oh, yes. We got a ding ding. Oh, yes. the pummel from Rosalina's grab got rid of the ding ding. That was supposed to be a grab to ding ding setup. That's. That's. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh! So, you know, so he never dies, except when Vivid kills him. No. Well, Zeno, just get out. tear everyone to pieces. <laughs> Vivid with the get out when he kills his teammate. Alright, so! He the shooting star bit, and then hits Vivid with the Raptor. So Xeno just keeps getting them to fight each other, and then, you know, against Little Mac, then it's a shot. I was gonna say he just lost his shot, but then Ninetales jumped out and got upbeat. Falcon matchup. Falcon or Xeno matchup. That's Falcon's favorite, too. Hero or Xeno, and then there's Footstool. Well, it's in his favor according to Ninetales. But, that is true. And he is generally specifically talking about Xenos. He's doing really well about spot dodging the projectiles. Mimic hit the <laughs> That is not. Mimic's today. Alright, so with that, it is 1 1, and we go into game 3. All three of four of them. So much. You got Rosalina, Luma, Little Mac, and Doc. I do believe this is supposed to be 2v2. Yeah, I almost just made a mess. That's a mess. I mean, We're switching our stage list after Evo. No, we're just complete scum with our stats. Oh, Yeah, coming, like, after Evo, we're gonna be switching our stage list up a bit, and then we'll be Melee, where, you know, half the stage list is Battlefield. <laughs> So unlike melee, only half the stage list is battlefield. <laughs> See, for us, it's gonna be 20 SS. Yeah. Ooh, Xeno does jump into. Oh, and then he gets waffle cone. And the bottom of the stage is just evil. Yeah, dude, the stage is a hater. Like it in melee and four sixty. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good in sixty four. Absolutely hate it here. Uh, they just need Nightcrawler to just fuck him down and give him this goddamn That's like, game one, a lot of what wanted for him was the fact that they got rid of Mac. Wow, that hits so far. That's dumb. He has the ding ding. Hitting Xeno with. What happened? Hang on, I think uh, Link telegraphed him. And just pulled him in or something. I'm not completely busted, but. Wow, Rosalina's up there. <laughs> However, he does manage to get down with the down air. And with that, it is three stocks to six. Yep. And then Rosalina's pretty close to kill percent from every character on the battlefield, including the stray hits from Mac. Up there. Wow, he lived it. Oh, No, it wasn't. I thought I thought Oh. Alright, so Dash Attack will finally take the stock. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Why you show me your moves. Thanks, Dash Attack. Show them! 
<laughs> Alright, so Zeno taunts, gets killed for it, and then takes his partner's stock. <laughs> Viviv is refusing to show Zeno his moves. Party of my moves! Very unfair. And I'm pretty sure this is a 3v1. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. Oh! 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 <laughs> All right. No ding ding. Yeah! <laughs> All right. And with that, Tales in Greatness does take it to one over the Undying Heroes. That. Oh, interesting match.